financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And good evening. Welcome to Friday Night Football here on Bear Country 95.3. Live from the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast Booth, it's Bordeaux Fields, Turner's Falls High School tonight. Turner's Falls versus Frontier in a key inter-county league matchup. Good evening, everyone. Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert here in the booth, Dave Reno, our studio producer. Tonight, Sean, we get a team, a couple of teams, longtime rivals going toe-to-toe -to -toe here tonight. The home team, Turner's Falls, a 2-3 and three overall record, 1-2 and two in the league, a tough one-point loss last week against the Mahar Senators. Frontier's on a roll. They have uh, now a four and one overall record, two and one in the league. Sean, they have been rolling since an overtime loss at Greenfield earlier this season. Yeah, you know, and again, I'll start with, with Turner's Falls. And it, it, if you understand football, and if you understand uh, particularly the high school football, to know that this team graduated 12 seniors last year. Um, and essentially the entire starting uh, roster uh, are guys that just had very little or no experience on the varsity level. So uh, in no, most cases, especially around here, though, uh, you're going to struggle. You know, you got, you got a bunch of new guys trying to learn a new system uh, with very little experience. And uh, this team has exceeded expectations, I believe, overall. Uh, I mean, uh, that week two win against Athol it was just completely unexpected by most of the football people. Nobody thought Turner's Falls was going to win that game. Uh, that's a good Athol team, but they dug in and they scored 34 yes, points, only give up six. Uh, again, tough loss at Greenfield, 12-0. Tight game, just couldn't get the offense going. Uh, big win up at McCann, 28 to nothing. And yeah, again, that's a good Mahar team. That's an improving Mahar team, and, and that game could have gone either way. You lose that one 20 to 19 last week. But look at what they've done in the last four games. The defense has only given up 20 points or less. Overall, for the season, they've only given up 73, 73 points. But what you just talked about, uh, the Red Hawks, 192 points they've scored on the season. They have scored. After you said the Greenfield loss, they got mad. 35, 56, and 41 points, respectively. They've scored more points in the last two weeks than Turner's Falls has scored all year. So that's what you got. And, Sean, as an offensive team, I, you know we all know about the running attack. They were great offensively on the ground the last couple of years. They put up big numbers. Any number of options, of course, those guys can just pick them up and put them down. But they can throw the ball as well. They are a really tough team, but you look at some of the guys, Sean, basically just uh, pick your poison, I guess. Well, again, we talked about Bryce Dobis that came up, uh, you know, came over from Pioneer, uh, and I know he got dinged there in, I think, the first week, but essentially, I mean, that kid ran for a thousand yards up there, and that's no small feat, and uh, he's basically the fourth guy in the backfield. They use him as a blocking back. I think the last game we saw him, he had one carry uh, late in the game, so, uh, but when you got Landry, again, that kid's got 638 yards on the season. He's got 10 touchdowns, uh, Worthley, 494 yards on the season, seven TDs for him. Uh, the quarterback, Hildreth, he's run for almost 200 yards. Um, and again, yeah, he's not going to throw a lot. He's thrown the ball 38 times. He's thrown one touchdown and no interceptions. So, yeah, very efficient at the quarterback spot. They, might, they, they probably won't throw it around a lot. I think the thing that does not bode well for Turner's Falls is last week they gave up 299 yards on the ground to Mahar. And... Frontier is not Mahar, you know, uh, and so uh, if they can keep this team under 300 yards rushing, they might have a chance if they can get the offense going, but uh, if these guys run for 400 yards plus, it could be a long night. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we said the scoreboard may get a workout down at Frontier with the uh, Red Hawks taking on Mahar. It's exactly what happened, and that could happen here tonight. A couple of teams that can definitely put some points on the scoreboard. We will see which team defensively Gets the better of the battle. Frontier Turner's Falls coming up less than 10 minutes away from the opening kickoff. Take a time out here on our pregame show. More pregame live from Turner's next on Bear Country 95.3. On the campus of Turner's Falls High School for tonight's matchup between the Turn Turner's Falls, whatever, and the Frontier Red Hawks. <laughs> tonight's contest is conducted under the NIA 
guidelines and we ask that you respect all players, coaches, officials, and fans in a courteous manner. Let's honor our seniors now. First we have Hayden Patno. Hayden has played football for one year and is also a member of the baseball team. He plans to attend school to become an auto mechanic. He is here with his mother, Tammy, sister Kaylin, and brother Kramer. The other senior we have is John Driscoll. John is a four-year football player and is a captain this year. John plans to go into the Marine Corps after he graduates. He is here with his father, Sean, mother Mary, and brothers Liam and Brendan. Now the starting lineups for both ball clubs. The lines for the Fronte Red Hawks. Uh, Donovan Hoffman, number 85, 79, Matt Carlson, 63, Joe Hildreth, 53, Nathan Austin, 70, Brandon Truswell, 78, Xavier Tent Santiago, and 12, Cole Price, the quarterback for the Red Hawks, Matt Hildreth. The running backs, number 28, Aaron Landry, number 38, Gordon Blight, and number 29, Steve Worthy, Worthy. For the Turner's Falls High School team, we have the lineup number 15, John Fritz, at, uh, number 50, Dominic Carney, so, number 75, Tyler Lavin, number 57, Jake Putala, number 54, Jake William Wilson, number 52, Hayden Petnard, and number 27, John Campbell, the Turner's quarterback, number 12, Kyle Dodge, the running backs, John Driscoll, number 40, number 42, John Torres, and number 20, Marcus Sanders. All right, heading up towards the top of the hour here. And the two teams now getting set to head out and now, to the center of the field. For the playing of our national and anthem. now we will first, however, have the playing of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner from the Turner's Falls High School Marching Band. The anthem will be performed by Turner's Falls High School and Great Falls Middle School Band under the direction of Miss Kayla Roth. It's a rather small band, and it's a combined middle school and high school band, but they're getting better and better. Nicely done. Turner's Falls Marching Band. And Captain's now getting set to head out here to the center of the field. We get set for Frontier and Turner's Falls, a big football weekend here on Bear Country. This game here tonight and then again tomorrow. We're with you at the Tech School in Turner's Falls for Franklin Tech and Athol. That should be a really good game. I know the four writers the from the recorder, they split the their vote as to who would win that game, and I, I, I think it is a coin flip game, Sean. Uh, again, yeah, I was looking at that myself, and I, you know, obviously all four went frontier on this one, and uh, a couple others they were uh, in consensus on, but 
Yeah, I saw the two went one way and the two went the other way. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, if you had two more guys, it probably would have been 3-3. Three to three. I think, and again, you can look at that game in a lot of different ways. Uh, fewest mistakes wins, I think. And then our football weekend concludes on Sunday. Patriots, Jets at the Meadowlands in New Jersey. Pre-game at 10. Kickoff at 1 o'clock. More coming up, by the way, about Sunday. We have a live broadcast, a sign-up location for the Kringle Candle 5K giveaway. More details on that. The Jets Jets are still a thing? Jets, uh, Jets are... Still a thing? Well, Jets? they are. They, they have a decent record, but I don't think they're still a very good foot. I mean, they beat the Browns last week, and they were celebrating like that was something. Well, and you, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, good. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think Tom is going to shred those guys yeah, this week. I really do. I, but. I really don't think it's going to be much of a game, but we will have that game for you right here on Bear Country. So Turner's Falls in their home white uniforms, Royal, uh, their home blue jerseys, Royal Blue with black numbers and the blue helmets and the white pants. Frontier in their visiting uniforms, which are the white jerseys with the red numerals and the navy blue pants and helmets. 11 minute quarters here. Turner's Falls won the opening coin toss. They will receive this opening kick. They have a couple of deep men standing back at their 10 yard line and Frontier now set to break out. And they will be kicking with Jacob Bryant, number 44 having a teed up on the 40. Now during the pregame warmup, he was kicking from the 40 and he was kicking it well into the end zone. I mean, he got off a couple of, not every one of them, but mo uh, some of them ended up in the end zone. Wasn't that Brandon's number two? He had a 40. Was he 40 or 44? Remember no, Brandon uh, had the lineman's number. He oh, was, that's uh, right. He had the big guy I number. I want to say he was 65. Yeah, you're 65. right. Yeah. No, yeah. 65. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, you're right. All a little right. smaller than his brother, but looks like he can kick Bryant. the ball. Jacob that's Bryant. High end over end kick. This will come up short to the 10 yard Taken line. And it's Craver down there. Nice little move to the outside, breaks the containment. Nice return by Craver out across the 35, and they kind of lost his footing just a little bit. But he brings it to the Turner's Falls 37-yard line. Decent field position for Turner's first down and 10. I'll tell you, that kid gets better and better as the season goes on. Andy Craver, just a junior, he's 5'7", 130 pounds, and very athletic moves on that to take the ball all the way out over the 35, about the 38-yard line, we'll call it. First and 10 here for Turner's Falls. Junior quarterback Kyle Dodge brings him up with the backs in the I formation behind him. Driscoll and Sanders back to pass on first down, going deep over the middle. He's got Craver, threw it behind him and a little bit too high out of the Frontier 35, incomplete. It'll be second and 10. Well, I didn't have a, a chance to talk at the top of the show, but uh, we know about Marcus Sanders and how quick he is. He's got 418 yards on the uh, season. Uh, big game against Athol, 13 carries, 139 yards and, a, and three touchdowns in that one. So obviously he's a huge weapon, but Kyle Dodge throwing the ball more. Last week, six for 17, nearly 200 yards, his best game of the season. Backs in the I formation, two receivers to the far side left, and the I back is Sanders, and he got caught in the backfield, struggled to get back to the line of scrimmage as Frontier came blasting through, and uh, no gain. It'll be third down and 10. Yeah, a little slow developing on that. Mark is trying to get out of the backfield. Again, and we talk about Marcus Sanders. You probably remember his brother, Jalen. Jalen was about six feet tall, kind of lean, very athletic looking. Marcus, smaller in stature, 5'7", 130, but quick as a cat. Now they'll go to the shotgun formation on third and 10. Dodge back to pass, looking right, throwing right. It is caught by Candle, but he got popped immediately after the catch. Aaron Landry with the stick, a gain of about four so yards there. Fourth and six coming up from the 42 in a punting situation for Turner's Falls. Yeah, well thrown ball there by Kyle Dodge. He's one for two passing now, but yeah, right, about four yards and then Campbell got whacked right there. So uh, yeah, the Indians most likely gonna have to punt here. And that looks like Aaron Landry back deep to get the boot. They kick it away from him. And it takes a nice Turner's Falls roll and Andy Craver will put it down right there right around the 26 yard line and that's where Frontier will set up shop first down and 10. All right, we talked about the quarterback and uh, a kid he's not flashy but certainly a good athlete and he's going to protect the ball. We're talking about the junior Matt Hildreth 5'7", 150 pounds and you don't have to throw the ball an awful lot when your ground game can get you three or four hundred yards. So he does not throw a lot. Uh, I don't expect him to throw a lot tonight either, but he's not thrown an interception on the season. One touchdown, no INTs in 38 attempts. 
So Turner's Falls goes three and out on their opening drive. We'll see what the Red Hawks can do. They have Wordley in a slot left. Landry on the right. The fullback is Bryce Dobis behind Hildreth. Wordley will take the pitch on their right side. And he got popped. The ball comes loose. Jumping on it, however, for Frontier was McMillan. But a big loss as Turner's came blasting right through. I'll tell you, that's got to give that defense a lot of confidence. And look at the loss on the play. That's 12 yards right there. About 10 yards. Yeah, yeah, the ball ended up on the 15-yard line. And they were at the 27. 12 yards, minus yeah. 12. Wow. 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 Uh, that's huge right there for that Turner's defense. That's Again, this is a running attack. It's going to come at you all night. What a great start there for Turner's. Second down and long for Frontier. And this will be Wordley again. And Worthy, let's see I'm where Steven took it. Uh, back out to close to the 20-yard line. Correction, that was Landry on the carry. Or, I beg your pardon, it was 28 Landry, not Wordley. Yeah, we just had that conversation off the air. Well, one player, Landry, <laughs> is number 28. The other player, Wordley, is 29. And at night and from a distance, the numerals look similar. Uh, physically, they're close. Yeah, very much so. Aaron's a little bit bigger than Steve, but... And they yeah. run them on similar plays, so as they squirt through the line, sometimes it is tough to tell which guy it is until they get up out of the bottom of the pile. And the inside give this time Landry, up the middle. Okay. And let's see where they're going to go with Landry. That's Aaron. And across the 30-yard line to the 31. Still about six yards. Well, a little closer than that. We'll call it four yards to go for the first down. And punting unit comes on the field for the Hawks. Well, that's really a tremendous job right there for Turner's Falls. you got to feel good. I mean, they went three and out on their first possession. A Sanders run that didn't get out of the backfield. And a couple of dodge passes. One incomplete, one for four yards to Campbell. But that's got to feel good, a three and out against this Frontier uh, Red Hawks. Actually, they're going to line up like they're going to go here on. Nope, they're going to punt it. Low snap, Worthley gets away a nice punt. And a fair catch called for by Sanders at the 35-yard line. So Turner's Falls will come out for their second drive. They went three and out on their opening possession. Yeah, that wasn't a terrible idea right there. You had Kieran and Freeman, number 42, bearing down on you. So uh, Marcus waving the arm wildly, let everybody know he was going to make that fair catch and secured the ball right there at the 35 for Turner's Falls. 7.35 to play here in the opening quarter. We are scoreless here at Turner's Falls High. We'll see if the Turner's Falls team can get on track offensively. They went up top on first down, and they went deep. In fact, two play passes on that opening drive. One was complete, but well shy of the first down. They go to Sanders on first down, but he got Sanders. cut down immediately, dropped down for a loss Stop of a couple, the second down and long. Yeah, a couple runs uh, trying to go through the tackles there with Sanders and having no luck at all. Two carries minus two yards now for Marcus. Again, that kid can bust one, and he can go quick. That's what Turner's is certainly hoping for. Because we'll see Driscoll, we'll see Torres out of the backfield as well. A couple weeks ago, all three fellas ran for over 100 yards. Pretty amazing. Yep. John Torres on the bench right now. Driscoll and Sanders in the eye. Two receivers on the far side left. Play action, rolling to the right, setting Dodge. up, throwing deep on the left side is Dodge. Has a got man him. open. Kramer got, got him. him. And he's going to take off for the touchdown. Dodge to Kramer. And that's going to go for 67 yards. 67 yards, and what a beautiful play. That was blocked to perfection. Kyle Dodge had all kinds of time to roll out and just stand there, look down the field, and all of a sudden, Graver cut behind the defense. The ball delivered perfectly, caught him in stride. He almost lost his footing about the 20-yard line. Trying to kick it up a gear, but he didn't, and into the end zone, untouched. Turner's Falls takes the lead. Tyler Lavin will try to kick the conversion out of the hold of Kyle Dodge. Snap back, placement down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. Timeout on the field, 6.50 wow. to play here in the opening quarter. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it's Turner's Falls 7, Frontier nothing. And back here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth, Turner's Falls High School. Turner 7, Frontier nothing, with 6.50 to play here in the first quarter. As Turner's went three and out their opening possession, so did Frontier. And then on second down and long, a third down and long, a long touchdown pass of 67 yards, dodge to Craver. 
And the kick by Lavin. Go out of it looks like that's going to go out of bounds. It will. They throw the flag. We'll see what they do here. Well, again, this has been a lot of fun to watch the, the maturation of Kyle Dodge. We saw against the Athol Red Raiders where he only threw the ball four times. He was one for four, 13-yard completion. Uh, we saw another game you know, at Lee. We didn't see it, but he only threw the ball six times. He completed one, one for six for 10 yards. So, again, not a strong passing attack coming out. Now, 188 Lander, yards last Lander, week for Dodge. Two for three, 71 yards in the first two possessions for Turner's Falls. That's fantastic. They're going to go for a re-kick here as uh, Turner's will tee it up on the 35 the now. From the 35. So everybody moves up five yards. But yeah, you know, Chris LaPointe, it's always good. If you're Kyle Dodge, young quarterback, he's a junior, he'll be back off next year for his senior year. But you got a guy who is an all-league quarterback here. And then set all kinds of passing records down at Westfield State. Not that other coaches can't coach quarterbacking, but that's a really big benefit. Look at what he did with Tion Brown. You could not have expected that to get him. The, the, you know what I mean? He just Here comes the kick, and it's taken at the 40-yard line. The breaking tackles into Turner's Falls territory. So there is the benefit of that penalty as Frontier will set up shop inside of Turner's Falls territory as uh, Garrett DeForest sets them up inside, or we'll oh, call it the 48-yard line. Yeah, Frontier could have uh, declined the penalty and they would have ended up with the ball probably down around their 30, 35, and instead they make Turner's re-kick, a short kick to the intermediary part of the field, and already you're over the 50-yard line to start your drive. So yeah, great starting field position here for the Red Hawks. First down and 10. It's Stephen Wordley, loses his footing, but then kind of scrambles forward. And we'll see what they give him. Maybe a yard, maybe no game. No Second game. down no and game. long. Well, uh, you know, we walked on that field early uh, just before Second the game. It is very right thick, it's shaggy, and of course now you can start to see the mist and the, the, the kind of the, the condensation. That's yep. gonna get a little slick down there. It is definitely gonna get slick here tonight, no question. We've seen a couple of guys slip just a little bit. Second down and long, they'll go back to Landry now. And Aaron's got the first down and more. Cuts to the outside, he may be gone. 15, 10, five. Touchdown, Frontier, 48 yards. It's 7-6. No slippage on that play for Aaron Landry. He took the pitch and just came through the line. And I'll tell you, I was watching his legs, watching his feet, because I wanted to see. And he just went. He just had a pattern he was going to run. He ran through the hole and then all of a sudden gone. And that's what Frontier can do. That's what Aaron Landry can do. Three carries, 48 yards. His first two carries were miserable. He lost 12 yards on a carry. And all of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, he's in the touchdown. 7-6 turners. Now, line Frontier will line two. up to go for the two-point conversion. Hildreth under center. And they tried the little inside carry. Looks like they did not get in. Did they did not. So, Turner's Falls will maintain their lead. 6.07 to play here in the first okay. quarter. And on the car crest of Greenfield, good. South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it's Turner's Falls Shelburne 7, remains. Frontier Turner's 6. Sanders Brian Sanders has a teed up on his own 40-yard line. A couple of big plays, 67-yard pass for Turners, a 48-yard run for Frontier. Marcus Sanders from his 15-yard line across the 20, 25, 30, 35. And out to the 40-yard line or so. So a nice return there by Marcus. They'll spot him just across the 40. First down and 10 for Turners. Well, the Red Hawks had great starting field position, took advantage of it right away, and now Turners falls with pretty good starting field position over their own 40. Yeah, right about the 41, we'll call it the 42-yard line. First down and 10. Turners moving left to right here. Backs this time are split. Now the quarterback, Kyle Dodge. They will go to Marcus Sanders. Not a lot there. Frontier up to meet him. He was able to move it forward just a little bit from the 41 to the 43, 44. Okay, he gave him about three yards there, second down. Well, he was able to take that a little bit more to the outside, and then he did try to cut it back in. His first two carries, he was minus two yards, so three carries now right now for Marcus and uh, positive one yard. So bring up a second and about seven here. Uh, we'll call it second and six for Turners. Yeah, ball just shy of the 45 yard line. They lead seven, six. High formation, double wide outs up top on the left. Deep pitch will go to Sanders, to Sanders, looks to turn the corner. Side. Extends the field, front here waiting for him though. And then a little bit of a late burst there by Marcus on the far sideline. Gets him out across the 45. It'll be third down 
And about five. Let's see what they give him here and mark him up. Uh, two. About two yards. Yeah, we'll give him two. All right, so three yards now on four carries and uh, a manageable third down here for Turner's Falls. Third and about four yards. So get this first down. They've got to get just over the 50 yard line over to the Red Hawk 49 for the first. Dodge gets the play call from head coach Chris LaPointe. They break the huddle. Jack Patala brings him up. Wideouts to either side, actually two receivers to the near side right. Marcus Sanders is the lone back. Coming in motion, back to pass is Dodge. Gets a block, heads downfield on the right side. Waiting, throwing, looping a pass, looking for Sanders. He's got him on the right side. Turns, towards the end zone. Touchdown. 52 yard touchdown pass. Dodge to Sanders. It is 13 6. Uh, you know what? Can I say something right now? 52 yards. It was Hayden Patno, number 52, that allowed that to happen. He blocked the same guy two, twice. Two blocks. I didn't know if you, you caught that? that shot. Yeah, he, he got him twice. What? He got him on the way in, and then as uh, the quarterback rolled out, he got him as he came back out, and that allowed the time for Dodge to find Sanders. Wow, what a block. What, a, what two blocks. But number 52 on the 52-yard touchdown pass. That was great. 13-6, Lavin now trying to convert once again. A high snap, but Dodge got it down. The kick is up, and the kick once again is good. Timeout on the field, 4.22 to play here in the opening quarter. It is now Turner's Falls 14, Frontier 6 on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield at Shelburne scoreboard. And we are back now here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance Broadcast booth at Bortle Fields, Turner's Falls High School. Turner's, a couple of big plays, touchdown passes from Kyle Dodge, 67 yards, 52 yards, 14 to six, high end over end kick. And that is going to go all the way down to the 12 yard line. Taken by Landry. This is Aaron Landry. And he breaks free to midfield, still going into Turner's Falls territory, down to the 43-yard line. Very, very dangerous. And now with 4-12 to play here in the quarter, another short field for Frontier. Well, again, it's funny now. We're six minutes into this game. We've got a 14-6 score. Neither team has a first down in this game yet. <laughs> no first downs. Very good point shot. Landry a 48-yard run and then a couple of bombs from Kyle Dodge and those have been the scores without first downs. Folks, you will never again see a game where 20 points are on the board with the lack of a first down. That, that'll never happen again. I don't again. think so, no. Steven Wordley inside carry into the secondary, cuts to the outside, now he may be off. He's at the 10, he's at the five, he's in the end zone. Touchdown, 43 yard touchdown run. It is 14 to 12. I just, you have to laugh right now. I mean, again, look at the score, look at the time. No first down. And there's still not a first down. This is amazing. This is incredible. Well, Sean, you and I both said during the pregame show, scoreboard might get a workout. Oh. Uh, scoreboard's begging for mercy at this point. Artie, you gotta get, Artie, you do your finger exercises before you came <laughs> in. You do a little, you gotta shake them out, shake them out a little bit. Arthur Burke is the score <laughs> clock operator, and he's been, he's been uh, adding sixes all Frontier night long here. For two. Frontier will go for two and the tie. Hildreth, under center. Pitches it on the left side. Turner's though strings it out. A stiff arm attempt. Well, I don't think he got great in. Great tackle right there. Did mm -hmm. not get in. 402 remaining here in the opening quarter and on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Jordan, it is Turner's Falls 14, 14 Frontier 12. 12. Well, there are a lot of zeros on our score sheet, he's zero penalties, Ryan zero Brady. first downs. No timeouts taken. No timeouts taken, but a lot of points. 14-12 turners. And here comes Craver up the Looking left hash one. mark into the secondary oh, and uh, into the deep into the frontier coverage, I should say. And there again, nice starting field right position right for Turner's Falls right around the 41, 42 yard line. That's where Marcus Sanders brought it. A couple plays later, they were in the end zone. It doesn't matter where they start, right? <laughs> it probably doesn't at this point. Neither team doesn't matter what the starting field position has been. 42 yard line of Turner's. They are moving left to right here in the first quarter. 354 to play. Turner's leading by two. Lone back is Sanders. And the handoff and is to gonna go to the left side. First carry of the night for John Torres, and he brings it up to the 46 yard line. Quick gain of four, it'll be Torres second down in six. Three, no touchdown? <laughs> what? What's going on? 
Pick Who's up the pace here, fellas. Well, I know. Come on, John. You're, sp- you're supposed to be Jordan. celebrating a touchdown right now. I'm excited about seeing a first down here, actually. That would be <laughs> kind of cool. I, if we go the whole quarter without a first down with all this scoring, that would just be, uh, that'd be incredible. It really would. Second down in six. Ball on the Turners, 46. They bring Craver to the near side right. Lone back is, or going in motion is Campbell. They will give it to Torres again on the left side, just shy of the first down, but he did bring it to the midfield stripe. It'll be third down and two. And now, does Chris LaPointe go up top? They're going to get John Driscoll back out there. Torres, is it going to come off? No, he's going to stay out there. No, he will come off now. They caught Sanders in the backfield a couple of times, so that would be a dangerous attempt at this point. Obviously, you need two yards. Uh, he just runs real heavy with Torres. Driscoll has not had a carry yet, but he's a big, strong back. He's 5'10", 175. Torres, 205 at 5'7". Third down and two from the midfield strike. Backs him in the eye formation. Quick handoff inside. And it's going to go for the first first down of the evening for Turner's Falls inside the Frontier 45-yard line. John Driscoll. And the drive continues. Yeah, Marcus was lined up in the backfield, and he think he came onto the right side. It was just a quick inside handoff to Torres on the left side. And a first down for Turner's Falls, the first first down of the game. 2.15 to play here in the first quarter. Turner's Falls with the ball, leading by two. Two touchdown passes for Kyle Dodge. And a couple of long runs for the Frontier Red Hawks for their scores. 38 yard line, first down and 10. Big enough to Marcus Sanders, breaks tackles. Oh, that was bird like. Secondary. Bird like on that still, carry. Still going and then got popped at the end, but that's close to another Turner's first down. Matt Carlson came in at the end of that play. He wears 79, he's six feet, 250. He looks a little bigger than that with those pads on. And yeah. He just leveled Marcus at the end of the play, but what a nice run there. How many yards did he get on that carry? Looked like a gain of about 11 there. Yeah, so nice carry for Marcus. Get him going now. Five carries, 14 yards. So slow start for Marcus. Best carry of the game right there. 34-yard line of Frontier. First down and 10. Backs are split behind Dodge. And the give on the right side. And that is Sanders. And he got it close to the 30-yard line. We'll call it the 31. That's a gain of two or three there. Down to one minute to play here. 120, I should say, in the first quarter. 14, 12 turners. Second and eight. Well, at what point we start to call this the offense a passing offense, but Kyle Dodge, three for four tonight, 123 yards and a pair of touchdowns here in the first quarter. I'd call that a passing attack, <laughs> wouldn't you? Uh, and a darn good one at that, yeah. Uh, on the high school level, that's uh, really at any level. Over 100 passes in a quarter is crazy. Going in motion is Campbell to the left side. Pitch to Marcus Sanders. Frontier strings it out. Marcus, though, gets around the corner. Then got popped again at the end. It'll be third down and about four or five here as we come down to 40 seconds to play in the quarter. Let's see where they mark him. Yeah, we'll get maybe three on the carry. So third and a little bit longer than Turner's has faced so far tonight. Third and five, long five here. John Torres comes back in. Usually that means Driscoll will check out, and John does come to the sideline here. Dodge got the play call from Chris LaPointe. A little play action, maybe? A little play action? No, that's uh, it's been working uh, to a T. They've really shredded the frontier secondary so far. Well, they've been pounding the line right here, too, so let's see if they go up top on third and five. Lone back is Marcus Sanders. They will give it to Marcus up the middle. Did not get there, and Coach LaPointe of Turner's just jumped. He got some air as someone missed their block, and that's going to go for a loss on the fourth down at about three. But it is four down territory. That's the end of the quarter. A very exciting first quarter here at Bordeaux Fields, Turner's Falls High School. On the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it is Turner's Falls 14, Frontier 12. Second quarter action next on Bear Country, 95.3. All right, the ball just uh, right around the 27-yard line. It is fourth down. Turner's Falls will go. Fourth down and four. Dodge, play action, rolling to the left, tucks it under, and he'll head downfield. Still going, and we'll see how close he got to the first down marker. Looks like he did not get there, and they will turn it over on downs, and the Red Hawks will get the ball back. Uh, you know what? Honestly, that's just really good downfield coverage by the Red Hawks. They, again, the, the blocks were there. Uh, 
Dodge had plenty of time to look down the field. He looked, he scanned back and forth. There was just nobody to throw the ball to. So uh, last second tried to tuck it under. And at that point, uh, they the, flowed right to him. And uh, he was not going to run for the first down. But uh, again, credit the Red Hawks for that, that downfield coverage. Uh, stopping Dodge short of the first down. So they'll take over here right at their own, what's that, the 25-yard line. First down and 10, Red Hawks. They trail by two. And the handoff, looks like that's Bryce Dobis, I think. Is that 24? That is Bryce. He took it over right tackle for a gain of a couple. Be second down and eight. Talk about Bryce at the top of the show. Again, he transferred over from Pioneer. Ran for 1,000 yards there last year. He was the featured back. And uh, this year had a good game in week one. And uh, he did get nicked up a little bit. Has been primarily used as a blocking back since then. We saw him a couple weeks ago where they ran for 400 yards. He had one carry for 13. Hildreth under center, and he'll Landry. give to Aaron Landry, and he's got the first down as he keeps the legs a chugging. And let's see where they spot him down. Yeah, he got the first down by about Landry. a yard. Landry. Gain of about nine there. It'll be first down and ten. Landry. The frontier, the ball will be spotted right around their own 37-yard line. I believe that is Frontier's first first down of the game there. Yep. Here in the second quarter. So one first down in the first quarter, one first down in the second quarter. 14-12 ball game. Hildreth brings him up. And he has Landry in motion. They fake it to him. He's back to pass. He's going to throw a deep ball on the right side. Looking for Donovan. Juggled, caught. Did he keep his feet in bounds? He did. That'll go for a first down in Turner's Falls territory. The 37-yard line. Donovan Hoffman on the receiving end. Yeah, about 28 yards there. You know, again, we knew Hildreth was not going to throw a lot of passes tonight. He had not thrown one to that point. He is now one for one and a big bomb, almost 30 yards. I'll tell you, Donovan Hoffman, he looked pretty good out there. He's only a sophomore, great size, six feet, 190. You know, as he was making that catch, and you said he was juggling it, but he had the presence to stay inbounds, and he really did have possession before he went out. Good call by the referee. Aaron Landry on first down, and he'll gain about four or five yards over the left side, brings it inside the Turner's Falls 35-yard line. Second down, nine minutes to play here in the first half. Turner's by two, 14-12. Well, I said that if they could hold Frontier to under 300 yards rushing, that they would have a chance in this football game. Right now, Landry's 56 yards, Worthley's 45. So you're looking just over 100 yards on the ground right now. And they're going to go back to Landry on the left side. He keeps the legs going, still going short of the first down, but he did bring it inside the Turner's 30. He'll be a couple of yards shy with third down coming up. Uh, and Landry is the guy, 638 yards coming in, ran for 1,000 last year. Leads the team with 10 touchdowns on the ground as well. Leading local rusher in terms of yardage is Greenfield's R.J. Bird. He's bearing down on 1,000. He's well over 900. Yeah, getting there. So. Good for him. Coming in motion is Landry. They fake it to him. They're going to go to Stephen Wordley. He gets the first down inside the Turner's Falls 25-yard line. Down to the 22, first down and 10. Uh, it's been a play that all the teams that Frontier has played have had a hard time stopping. Not a bad deal there for Turner's, but again, Wordley just a battering ram. 5'6", 175. Easy first down for him. Just outside the 12, about the 24-yard line here. First and 10, Red Hawks. It'll be Worthley again on the and right side. And Turner's Falls, a good job of coming up to meet him. He was Dropping still able to Jersko. gain three or four right there. Be second down coming up. And a nice job by Steven to hold on to that football. You could see the tacklers that were falling off of him just trying to rip that thing out of there. And there were two or three Indians there. And Took him down after a game of about three. Well, Sean, I'm getting bored. I haven't, I haven't done a, a touchdown. Yeah, I, I haven't done a touchdown call in like five minutes. Boring, boring game. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Wordley, right up the middle, and he is close to a first down. He can get a first down right around the Turner's Falls 14-yard line. We'll see how close he got. They got it opened up with the big pass, and now doing what they do best, running the football, Landry and Wordley. Third down and about four, three or four. We'll call it a short four or a long three. And absolutely four down territory for the Red Hawks. So, Indians need a couple stops here. Hildreth to Landry. Left side bounces Landry. to the outside. He's got to the, the first side. down and he has the touchdown. Touchdown. You happy? Run two. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the touchdowns have resumed. <laughs> Frontier has their first lead of the night. It's 18 to 14. Two point conversion coming up. Eight carries for Aaron Landry. 73 yards. A couple of touchdowns. Two touchdowns, Wordly had the other. It's what he does all the time. I mean, it's just what we're used to doing. And uh, Aaron Landry, we have seen him torch some teams in the last couple of years. And numbers start to add up now for him. Slow start, but he Frontier carries 73 yards and a pair of scores. Frontier trying to make it a six point game. They'll go for two again. They're 0 for 2 so far, and they're 0 for 3. They wow. didn't quite make it in. And that is going to bear watching okay. as this Play game on. goes on. 6.50 to play here in the first half on the car quest of Frontier, Greenfield, 18. South Deerfield, and Shelburne Turner's scoreboard. 14. It's Frontier 18, Turner's Falls 14. Turner's yeah. Turner's yeah. Deep. Yeah. Back in Frontier. the Albert B. Allen Insurance Frontier. broadcast Frontier. booth here at Turner's Falls High. Frontier with their first lead. That was more of a traditional drive, though. They took some clock. They ran some plays. They got into the end zone. The kick now Taken will come to Craver. The 15-yard line across the 20, 25, 30. Wow. Out to the outside. Then lost his footing at around the 33. Good moves went in down there. there. Good moves in there. Well, uh, here's the thing. Not made by McMillan. There is no indication to me that Frontier is, is going to stop scoring in this football game. So, if your Turner's falls, you know, it's almost like a heavyweight fight. They went punch First for punch, you know, and uh, they, they didn't even try to feel each other in the early rounds. They just went right at it, back and forth. <laughs> yes, and, uh, they did. Uh, through haymakers. So now, again, for Turner's Falls, if they're going to hang in this game, correction, falls out to the 34-yard line. A score for score is going to be good. Frontier gets up by a couple or three. That's going to be tough for them to come back. Uh, this is very this is very reminiscent of the second half of that game Dodge against Maha. Dodge going long, deep on the right away. side, throwing it down there, and it's Goes incomplete. incomplete. Looking for Craver. He was covered down Dodge at the Frontier 40-yard line. He was covered, and then the defender slipped, and Craver, as he came back, actually was able to get a hand on the ball, but was in no position to make the catch. The ball was thrown well. Craver had to come back to it. The defender slipped, but he was right there on Craver the whole time. So it'll be second down and 10 for Turner from their own 32-yard line. Second we are 10. roughly halfway through the second quarter at halftime. We'll have the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report. Dodge hasn't tried to hit his favorite receiver on this season yet. Jaden Whiting. Whiting's got seven catches, 173 yards, and three touchdowns through the air from Whiting. the arm of Kyle Dodge. Whiting comes to the near side left. Coming in motion is Sanders. He'll take Sanders. it on a sweep up to the 40-yard line, down to the 41. And he'll be about three Sanders yards short of the first down. The third down and three line. coming up. Yeah, good strong run there for Marcus. Got to Not the outside. Evaded a tackle, was able to fall forward for the extra yard at the end. So the ball over the 40 to the 41. They've got to get just inside the 45 for the first down. So yeah, we'll call long it a two. couple yards here. Yeah, yeah long two, as Mr. Roberts said. Long time public address announcer here at Turner's Falls Long High. time. You can't even say long time anymore. <laughs> the guy's just been doing it forever. I mean, since the 70s. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. So now a timeout is called timeout. by Turner's. Turner. We will keep it here during the timeout. Dodge looked over the Frontier D. I'm not sure what was happening. They're going to get Campbell out there now. Ryan will head out there. And it looks like Sanders now will check out of the lineup. So this third down play. I actually think they're going to set up a pass here, Sean. Well, you know, again, that was, uh, you've got all your timeouts here, and uh, Kyle Dodge goes out. He had a play in mind and looked over the defense and decided that that play wasn't going to work against that defense. So good timeout call there. Uh, you saw what they've got to offer, and now you can change to something that you think is going to beat it. I would, I would do a screen. I would do a screen here. Uh, call, uh, Dodge has been throwing the ball well. You go with one of the big guys on the backfield and just try to pull your way for the two yards. Driscoll and Torres are in the eye, and they're going to go to Driscoll up the middle. He got right. caught in the backfield, but then went forward, got very close to the first down. Yeah. They're going to move the sticks. Yeah, it was actually a really good run by Driscoll, as you Driscoll. said. Took the quick inside handoff. He got slipped right away. You can see his feet come out from under him, but he was able to just get the feet back down. He was almost parallel to the ground, had one hand down, but able to scoot forward for the uh, extra yard over the first down marker. He's at the 44-yard line there, first down for the Indians. Waiting up top on the right, Craver to the near side left. Backs are split. On first down, they're going to go to Sanders, and Frontier's waiting for him. He gets Sanders. ripped down immediately, Lost blasting through, and Not bringing him down. Point. Was uh, Garrett DeForest? Uh, we've seen a, uh, several carries by Sanders today. End up 
Bring right back the, at the line of scrimmage or behind it. He's got 10 carries, goal. but just 25 yards for Marcus right now. Having a hard time getting him out of the backfield against this defense. Ball back at the Turner's 42-yard line. They tried to run him inside. They tried to run him outside. Not a lot of success so, so far for the speedster. Second down, back to pass Dodge. Yeah. Big wash, and he gets sacked, yeah, and he got hit hard, and it was the same guy who made the last play, Garrett DeForest. That was just a bull rush, and you could see, I think it was Driscoll out there that had the assignment to try to block him, and quickly behind him, reminisces of uh, Trevor Allenby. Remember Trevor oh, Allenby yeah. used to come off the corner like that, yeah. and he would just make a blocker look silly, and right there, yeah, yeah, that was just an athletic move directly to the quarterback. And the first sack of the game, Kyle Dodge, and that's going to lose uh, yeah, about 10 yards on that play. Yep. The Forest is the outside linebacker on the right side. Uh, left side is Turner's Falls views it, and they're going to have to really account for him. They're going to go shotgun formation on third uh, down and 20. Shotgun. Deep ball on the left side looking for Whiting. Incomplete. There was some yeah, little yeah, no, shoving, but no one really gained an advantage, though. Whiting did a really nice job maneuvering his body. He saw the ball coming in, and you can see the left arm well, over to try to get the inside position. And then they got kind of locked up a little bit, and... Uh, they both went down. That's really not a pass interference call. Whiting was uh, the aggressor trying to get in front of the defender. Yeah. And uh, again, they got kind of wrapped up. I can see where Chris LaPointe, um, somebody get him a chamomile tea. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, I can see where he's upset. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's pitching he's, it. But uh, he, he, yeah, no, I got to give it to the, uh, the referee again on that one. Uh, yeah, again, the way I phrased it, yeah. no one was able to gain an advantage. Yeah. So Lavin Wilpon, he kicks it off to the right side. He's kicking it away from Landry. And the ball is down by Turner's at the 30-yard line of Frontier. That is where the Red Hawks will take over. We have 3.55 to play here in the second quarter. Frontier 18, Turner's Falls 14. And the Red Hawks now will come out for their next series here. So Turner's Falls leading, uh, trailing rather by four here, Sean. And Frontier's got about four minutes to get down the field. Turner's Falls has not been able to stop them yet. This would be a good time to do it. Well, we talked about the Turner's defense that's only given up 20 points or less in their last four games. Frontier with 18 right now. On the first down carry, it's going to go for a first down and more up to midfield. We will see who got that, and somebody's helmet popped off. Driscoll just lined him that up. Was, that was Landry. Yeah, he Not hit him hard Driscoll. at the end of the play, but Landry, a 30-yard run. Carry. Good for a Frontier first and 10. 103 yards and now for Aaron Landry. To midfield stripe. Up to the midfield stripe. First down and 10. Just Three, like that. 342 to play here in the half. Frontier by four. Again, our Greenfield Savings Bank halftime report coming up. Driscoll came off. His helmet's back. His head never popped off, so that was good. Yeah, well, he came in. That was very aggressive on the tackle of Landry. And it's Stephen Wortley now, and he squirts into the secondary, and he's got close to first down yardage at the Turner's. Falls 40 yard line. They will move the sticks. And I can't, Sean, if you know, you're a defensive coordinator, and you just you have so many weapons. Uh, this is the scary frontier. This is a scary team, and with the weapons that they have. And again, you can almost eliminate Hildreth as a passer for the most part. He's thrown the ball once, he did complete it 28 yards. But yeah, even if when you're keying on the ground game, you just can't stop it sometimes. It's Stephen Wordley, cuts to the outside, Wordley. steps out of a tackle, keeps it going, and leans his body in. That really shouldn't have gone for as many yards as it did. And nothing against the Turner's Falls D, that was all Steve. No, again, uh, Liam Driscoll, and he's not a big guy. He's a sophomore, about 105 pounds, and he was the guy tasked to come up and try to stop him, and did a nice job slowing him down, but not enough. Wordley, another carry, about eight yards on that one. 32-yard line of Turner's Falls, second down and three. And it's Wordley again. Uh, no, check that. That is Bryce Dobis, who is into the lineup now. And Bryce took it right around to the first down marker. They will move the chain. So the ball will be right at the 29-yard line of Turner's first down and 10. Yeah, again, Bryce Dobis came into this game uh, 196 yards on the season. Had a big game week one, and again, he did suffer an injury. And they've been easing him back in, using him mostly to block. We saw one carry out of him last time we saw the Red Hawks. He's had two carries tonight. 
Uh, still no Wordley. They will go to Dobitz again. He'll look to the right Maybe side, goes Dobitz. back to the left. Not a lot there. Turner Spells was able to get through, Stop but he did kind of step Turner. inside that last defender and was able to gain a couple three yards there. Clock now at 152 in motion. Frontier leading by four. They would love to get in one more time before halftime. Yeah, Wordley's back out there now. Dobis back to the bench. Second Three down. carries for him, seven yards in this one. Second and eight from the 28 of Turner's. They go to Landry. He'll try the left side. And he got chucked down near the end of that. Did not Landry. get the first down, but still a nice gain. He's probably about three yards shy of the first. It'll be third Stop down coming up. We'll keep an eye on the clock. 123. Third and and four. moving. Frontier has all their timeouts. They've not used one here in the first half. All right, the ball is spotted on the Turner's 23-yard line. And it is Landry, Landry again, and he has the first down inside the 20, 19-yard line, and now they'll stop the clock to set the chain. Did Frontier call the T.O.? They did. We, however, will keep it here. This will be a quick 30-second timeout. So, Sean, very methodical. Again, this isn't the big play, first Frontier offense. We saw the first quarter, but just, you know, four, five, six, seven yards a clip. Well, They're going right 19. down the field. Well, and again, they had all their timeouts. It's a situation where you want to score before the half and not leave the other team with too much time, and that's understandable. But they let a lot of time run off of that clock, and uh, they certainly could have bought themselves a few more plays. They take the timeout here. Wordly has one touchdown. Landry has hit the end zone twice. It'll be first down in 10 for the Hawks at the Turner's Falls 19-yard line. They bring him up. Blight is the fullback. Wordly and Landry a little bit of jumping. Now Landry will come in motion, but the inside give to Wordly. Nothing doing as he gets well, act a little bit of a spurt late. Gets him a couple of, of yards. 50 seconds. Now Frontier's going to have to call another Stop timeout. And again, I think we'll keep it here. Yeah, this will just be a quick timeout. 50 seconds left. It'll be second down and about nine. Yeah, on a play where, you know, again, a lot of backs will get stuffed at the line right there. Wordley still ends up gaining an extra yard at the end of the play. It could be second and 10, but we're looking at second and nine instead. Sounds a little bit better. Feels a little bit better. And the ball's on the Turner's Falls 18-yard line. John Driscoll, defensive uh, captain, came to the sideline. Talking to his guy, saying, come on, let's keep these guys out of the end zone here and let's just trail by four here at halftime. Obviously huge right now for Turner's Falls to go into the locker room. They've got to feel good about where they stand right now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're down 10 or more going in, it's a little bit more uh, precarious of a situation. But, yeah, if you can stop them here and go into the locker room down four, they've got to feel pretty good about that. Frontier will have the ball to begin the second half. This is a big couple of plays here. Coming motion is Wordley. Inside give. No, they fake it. And Hildreth will take it around the right side. Not a Hildreth lot there. On a keeper. He's brought down for just a short gain. They'll Stop call a timeout here with 41 seconds left to play. It's going to be third down and long. That was a great play by Kyle Dodge. You could see him just set back in the inside. You get a timeout on the field taken by yep. no gain Frontier. On Full carry. timeout. We will step aside. 41 Brings seconds left 39. in the half. Car quest of Greenfield, Frontier. South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is Frontier 18, Turner's Falls 14. Third down and long. Hildreth, the pitch. And then the inside give to Landry, Landry into the secondary. Still going. He's got the first down. Still going. And he is going to go into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Landry Frontier. took it. The last 10 yards with Turner's players all over him. He just would not be stopped. 132 yards for Aaron Landry. Three touchdowns to add to his team leading. 10 coming in. 12 carries, 132 yards, three touchdowns for Landry. And yeah, who needs timeouts? You know, the Red Hawks, they knew exactly what they were doing. I thought, you know, the little time run down there, but they've got weapons and uh, into the end zone. Timeout on the field, and uh, I'm not sure who that's taken by here, but it's a full timeout. Taken by Turner's. Taken by Turner's Falls. Turner. We'll actually keep it here as Sean updates the numbers here. Has the ink run out of your pen yet? No, I've got two pens. Got I two actually pens. I brought an extra one just in case. <laughs> that's yeah. A good thing. Yeah. Well, Sean, we sort of saw this happening before the game even started. You know, I don't like to make it seem like we're clairvoyant or football experts, but. We, we felt confident that Frontier would be able to score. Maybe not at will, but they would not have too much trouble scoring. And Turner's Falls, of course, got off to that great start as well. Uh, amazing offensive performance by these by these kids. And Turner's Falls, though, their defense, you can see now they're just, they're sort of hanging on. 
they're almost on like a roller coaster ride, kind of hanging on right now. Well, and they just can't get the running game going at all. Marcus Sanders again. Uh, he's a weapon, and Frontier has eliminated that weapon. Ten carries, just 25 yards. Driscoll's got a pair of carries for nine, and Torres a pair of carries for eight. So uh, you're leaning now on Kyle Dodge, which. Hey, three of six for 123 yards. Now that's the weapon. That's where you're going to score and uh, a lot more passing in the second half, I would think, for Turner's Falls. Well. Frontier for is 0 for 3 conversion. so far in their two-point conversion attempts. And they will pitch it to Wordley, Wordley. on the right side. And did he get it? And Looks like he did that time, time, and he did. So the two-point conversion is good. We're going to keep it here as the teams head back upfield. It's now Frontier 26. You're coming off the field. Looks like is that time? Frontier 26. Nope. 32 14. seconds left. Oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. All right. So Bryant will be kicking from the 40. And he's uh, his talking about the scoreboard getting a workout. His right foot is getting a workout. He's kicked off to start the game. And now he's kicking off after four. Touchdowns, four rushing touchdowns. Well, he probably won't be kicking a lot less in the second half. So, yes. Go uh, warm that toe up. And that is a great relief. Right. And he kind of hits a ground ball. Whiting Down. jumps on it at the 29 yard line. And now 30 seconds left here in the half. Now, we, ordinarily at high school football, you know what happens. They just run it between the tackles or take a knee and they go in for halftime. But Dodge has been on fire through the air, well over 100 yards passing. Well, and that was a terrific play by Whiting because, you know, he just went over, covered up the ball, the clock stops. Instead yep. of picking it up and trying to run around and kill 10 seconds when you're only going to gain five yards. Everybody's coming downfield at you, so great play there. High formation, double wideouts to the near side. Driscoll comes in motion. The pitch goes to Marcus Sanders. Sanders. He'll take it on the left side, and he got whacked out of bounds after a gain of uh, close to five yards. Stop made by McMillan. And we'll actually give him about six. Sanders run good seven for about yards. seven yards. And his longest carry of the night, I do believe. Uh, I believe it is, 31 yards now on 11 Second carries. Injury. Turner's has three timeouts remaining here in the first half, so big player two can get him into position to try to get to the end zone. 25 seconds left half. Yeah, if somebody can bust one and you get it inside the 30 yard line with uh, 15 seconds or so, yeah. Quick pass on the right side. It goes to one. Yeah, he shirks away one good. tackler. Got the first down. Easy. And, and he brings it across the 45 to the 48-yard line. First and 10 from there. 19 seconds left in the half. And there's Whiting. There's the target he hadn't hit yet tonight. We said Jaden Whiting was the leading receiver for Turner's Falls coming in. And there's a catch for him. One by Sanders, one by Craver, one by Campbell, and now a catch by Jaden Whiting as well. 48-yard line at Turner's Falls, first down and 10. Whiting and Driscoll to the near side right. Going back is Sanders, who's right to the right. Back to pass, deep ball, right side, tipped away. That could be a flag. Nope. Tipped away by the defensive man as the ball came in. Well, he did play the ball. He was turned, he played the ball, his Sam, body was Sam in. Heber. Yeah, he was in the right position, no doubt about that. Looked like it might be a jump ball there for a second, but. 12 seconds left now in the half. It'll be second down in 10. Dodge four for seven passing now, 135 yards. Frontier 26, Turner's Falls 14. Sanders back, he's standing to the right of Dodge, Dodge out of the shotgun, shotgun, looking left. He will throw left, caught by Whiting, puts a move on, gets into the Frontier secondary, slides down to the 35, they call timeout with three seconds left here in the half. You know, so a shot at the end zone from 35 yards. End of game execution and end of half execution is, is critical. Turner's Vols has managed to put themselves in a situation, now we got a timeout here, Probably taken by the Red Hawks. Uh, no, I think Turner, Turner's, Turner's Falls took it. Took it. Yep. Right. Uh, they went Chris LaPointe waved them over. He's cooking up something. 35-yard um, line. They're not close enough for Lavin to kick. It would be no. about a 52-yarder. He's got a foot. But no. And well, you know, I forgot to mention this, too. But I remember week, uh, I think it was week, uh, no, it was Greenfield game. First play of the game. Uh, 
looked like he turned his ankle, and he looked sore. And I remember halfway through the game thinking he was kicking pretty good, and he, he, you could tell he was sore. I ran into the kid a few days later. He showed me that ankle. And uh, uh, kudos <laughs> to him for uh, wrapping it up and playing through that pain in that game and having the game he had. Um, he does have a big foot, but that ankle uh, probably still a little sore for him right now. Frontiers DBs are going to go all the way back to around the 10. They'll wait for the Turner's kids to get down there. Yeah, they had two deep earlier. They were about 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they're, and now way, they're back. way back. They're back 30 there. yards off the line. They're all the way back at the five-yard <laughs> line. Line of scrimmage is the 30. Turner's will send two receivers to each side. Keep it up now. Safety. Driscoll back to block. Back to pass. Heavy rush. Flushed out of the pocket. Rolling to the right. And he finally lets it go late. Underthrown was it caught down there. Uh, that was the end of the half anyway. And I believe they ruled that a catch down there, but that'll do it. Halftime here, Bortle Field, Turner's Falls High School on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. It is Frontier 26, Turner's Falls 14. The Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report is coming up next right on Bear team. Country 95. Please give a big round of applause to welcome the Arturnus Falls Marching Band, who will be performing the song, Some Nights by Fun. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Center, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All righty, Turner's Falls will be kicking the frontier. They have not defensively stopped the Red Hawks yet. If they even want to hope to win this football game, they will need to get a stop here on this drive as they trail by 12. And that time, Lavin did a good job. He just kind of topped it. Frontier did not get a return about it, but they did jump on it at the 38. So reasonably good field position for their first second half possession. He tried to do that earlier in the game on a kickoff, and he just went a little bit too long with it and kicked it out of bounds. And you'll remember that cost the Indians quite a few yards on that re-kick. So in this case, same idea, just a little more shallow and just right down the middle. You don't want Landry, one of those guys, getting the ball deep and having uh, time to survey the field and run by you. So not a bad kick there. 38-yard, uh, 38 38-yard 39 line, we'll call 38-yard line for the Red Hawks. First down and 10, opening drive here in the second half. And the carry goes to the left side, and that is going to be a Landry, and he's got first down into Turner's Falls territory. That was just a quick hitter. It's kind of hard to actually see who had the ball. And he brings it to the Turner's Falls 42-yard line, first down and 10. Yeah, 12, put him at the 41, 9, quick gainer at 21 there for Landry. 153 yards now. He's trying to get up to 1,000 for the year. Chris Collins came in. Hey, what was he saying? He needed a, he needed a buck 90. Is that it? Is, is what he needed. Is that right? 190 for 1,000. He is approaching it. And it's Stephen Wordley, breaking tackles. He brings it inside the Turner's Falls 40. They'll spot him down to 36. Quick gain to five. It'll be second and five. Early third quarter, Frontier 26, Turner's 14. Not often teammates run for 1,000 yards in the same season on the same team, but Stephen, 494 yards coming into this one. He's getting up on around 100 yards. He's at 86 right now, so he's looking up around 600 yards plus. No Bryce Dobis out there. Landry will come in motion. They fake it to him, and the inside give goes to Wordley. He's got the first down inside the Turner's Falls 25-yard line down to the 24. They're just a machine, Sean. They just, again, they, very rarely do they get stopped for a short gain or a loss. They just keep it going. Uh, Turner's Falls caught him. Remember the very first play from yes, the line that's, of scrimmage. That's right, Landry, uh, the big loss. That yeah. shocked me because, yeah, you <laughs> don't see that very often. They caught Landry in the backfield, minus 12, and... Yeah, since then, uh, I don't think he's caught anybody in the backfield. 
Uh, ball's on Fumble the on the exchange. It uh, looked like Frontier did get it back. Yes, the quarterback, Hildra, just jumped out. A good job there by Matt. By if not, the fullback, Blight, was right there as well. Uh, we talked about Hildreth as being a good game manager, and again, he's thrown one pass. He's completed it. That there, just the uh, snap from center. We see that from him about once a game, I think, is, is really my, about it. And I don't expect we'll see that again. Just a bad snap, ball fell, and uh, second down now. Second down and long. They go to Wordley. Steven sleeks through a little bit. I, sl I think I just... Uh, sleeks? I, I, he sleeked. He was slinky? I was combining words. What was I combining? Sneaking and slithering. And he becomes sleeking. He sleeks down to the 20. Sleeking. That might catch on. I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, don't ever say that again. Yeah. He sleeked. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make it work. And it's just almost did, though. I mean, I did not talked about it. Third down and six. It is Worthley again. Not a lot there. He's in big trouble, yeah, and he's going to get, get him driven back. back and nice defensive play there. And now it is fourth down. So now an opportunity at fourth and eight for the first time tonight. Turner's Falls D stopping them, keeping them out of the end zone. This would be a big stop. We talked about it during the halftime. You're down by two scores right now. Frontier has the ball to start the second half. A stop here uh, leaves the door open for you. Yeah, I know. Frontier was the dominant team in the second quarter. However, this game is not over at all, especially if Turner's Falls can lock it up right here and take over on downs. Yeah, this would be a big play for them. Fourth and eight. Uh, and again, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Frontier doesn't uh, run the ball. I, you know, I, I don't expect Hilders to throw in this situation. 23-yard line. Coming in motion. They will pass. Throws on the right side. Looking downfield. Tipped. Falls incomplete. incomplete. They were looking for Landry down at the two-yard line. And it falls incomplete. Turner's Falls. And we'll take over on down. Turner's down. Falls was ready for the pass. Double coverage. Hildreth tried to throw into. Kind of threw a jump ball out there. Ended up being batted down. So the Indians do stop them on the opening drive. Stopped them for the first time tonight on offense. And now they get the ball back just outside their 20. Right about the 22, 23 yard line. First down and 10. Opening drive of the second half. I can't overstate how big that was. And now if Turner's Falls can get in the end zone on this drive, he got a ball game again. They go to Sanders on first down. Not much there, but Marcus did. Keep it moving a little bit forward. A short game to the 24. Picks up two for Turner. Let's see what they spot. Second and eight. Right around the 25 yard line. Second down and eight. Give him a couple. Yeah, 11 carries in the first half. 31 yards for Marcus. First carry of the second half here, obviously, for Turner's fall. Well, got him a couple yards there. Second and eight. Definitely looking forward to seeing uh, Spencer Telega tomorrow. He had a really big effort against Greenfield. He's had a fine season. He was the complimentary back behind Dylan Melo, and also they, of course, they had C.J. Dano, the quarterback, who was a big one. Now it's Marcus Sanders, got some space on the left side, short of the first down, but he's close. No, he, got he got it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice job Sanders by him to get around the corner, and then his foot speed did get the first down, so the ball to the 34-yard line, right where he needed to get to. Again, two local teams are off. This weekend, that being uh, Mahar as well as Greenfield. We'll be back in action next weekend. First down and 10. First down. And a handoff will go. It's John Torres. John is able to bring it right out to the 40 yard line. Nice gain on first down. It'll be second down and about three. And what I really like here is that Turner's Falls not really in panic mode at all. Again, you come out, you're down two scores, they got the stop. And now they're just trying to establish the running game. Again, first half not able to do so. Second in. Torres, best carry of the game for him. Three carries, 15 yards now. Out of the eye formation. It is Torres, and he's got the first down. As he brings it out across the 45 up to the 48-yard line. Another thing I just noticed here, Sean, uh, not a lot of laundry. There's been a lot of Aaron Landry on the field. Not a lot of laundry in terms of penalty markers. Now, this has been a very clean game. See what you did there. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, not a single penalty. I don't think we've even had a penalty uh, declined. Oh, uh, the kickoff. The one on the kickoff. Yes. That was the only assessed yep. penalty we've had in this it. game. Yep. 
So kids are doing a good job out there. They go to Torres again up the middle. He got Torres. popped in midfield, but still John, he's, again, he's got that low center of gravity. He brings it in to frontier territory to the 49. We'll give him three. Yeah, low center of gravity uh, plus mass. 57205. Uh, do something with pie and uh, yeah, that kid uh, pretty pretty strong runner. 57205 and burst through the line there. He's running tough right now. Five carries, 30 yards, real quick here for Torres. Well, again, this could be setting up uh, play action. And they go to Torres again. So they're really working, John, now. Another gain of a couple to the Frontier 47. It'll be third down and about five from there. Yeah, give him, yeah. and again, you are setting up the play action. The Dodge is throwing the two touchdowns out of play action. Roll to the right. He's had a couple other times when he's rolled out. And Frontier has done a nice job covering downfield. Again, Dodge right now, 6 of 10 passing, 175 yards for him. 188 last week, 175 this week. Third down and five. It is play action, rolling to the right as Dodge, sets up, throws it deep on the right side, looking down there, tipped out of bounds, incomplete. It will be fourth down. Uh, again, uh, good coverage there, and actually the Red Hawk defender was in the best situation to try to come up with the ball, but when it fell out of his hands, Craver was right there, almost had a, a last gasp effort at it, but again, Dodge rolling out, got time, throws a dart, but good coverage downfield. All right, so fourth and five. You go. And I think that you Coach go. LaPointe just gave Dodge go. an yep. offensive play to run. Yeah, got to go. Gonna, they're going to go for the uh, first here. They may do the try to draw them offside thing first, call the timeout, but uh, yeah, I think they're going to run a play here. Dodge under center. Tar is in motion. They fake it to him. He's back to pass. Quick throw left side. Got Whiting. Got hit immediately. Spun turn. That's going to be close. And he let's got see. pulled back after he the forward momentum. I think he's got the first down, Jeff. He got a good mark right there. Yeah, he did get a good mark. He got smacked backwards and a couple yards. They're um, going to kill the clock here yep. because they are going to move the sticks. Yep, there you go. I think. Oh no, he's moving. He was moving the frontier players back. I thought he was. Yeah, they're going to bring the chain gang out. They're on the far side. Yeah, good job there by Whiting to, you know, Jaden was just, again, trying to not get popped back too quickly. Yeah, 39 yards, three catches for Whiting of the seven completed passes by Dodge. Uh, we have Turner's players in our way. We can't see. No, he is short. Uh, I can't see how far because they've got a bunch of guys in blue. So. Nice effort by Turners. They go for it on fourth down near midfield. Uh, they do turn it over. Frontier will take over first and 10 on their own 43-yard line. Yeah, and you can see the frustration on Chris LaPointe's face again. They ran the right play, and they really just got it. Whiting, a nice catch, but again, a good defensive play. Blasted him right just before he hit the line to gain and ended up a couple yards backwards. So a big play there for the Red Hawk defense. Now Turners Falls defense got to step up again. 43-yard line, first down and 10. Frontier moving left to right. They lead by 12. Yeah, it's going to go to Aaron Landry. Cuts back against the grain, brings it across the 45 to the 47, 48-yard line. Second down coming up. 420 to play here in the third. 26-14 Red Hawks. Well, let's see. We give Landry, what, five on that? I got him 158 yards right now. And we said, what, 190 he needs for his 1,000. Second consecutive 1,000-yard season by Aaron Landry. And uh, that is quite a feat. Not many guys do that. Uh, no, <laughs> not at all. And the inside give. Wordley. And it's Steve Wordley brings it into Turner's Falls territory. He's about two yards shy of the first down, third and short. Coming up, Houston is batting in the last of the first in Houston. They have a runner on first base, scoreless. That's game one of the ALCS. The NLCS begins tomorrow night in LA, the Dodgers hosting the Cubs. What sport are you talking about right now? <laughs> yeah. I thought baseball season ended last week, didn't it? It did for a lot of us, yeah. <laughs> It did for me. Back to pass, Hildreth running go, against go, the go, grain, go, throwing go, that deep go, ball go, down there into double coverage and, and penalty, go, and this could go, be offensive. I, that could be offensive because again, he, the defender, I think it was Craver down there, had the inside position that receiver, a taller he, was guy, was draped a, over him. Oh, it's going to go against Turner's fall. That's though. not a good call. I, I don't. I yeah. don't believe. No. Uh, no. You know what? Uh, that was uh, a bigger, a bigger receiver that came up over the back of the defender. 
And uh, he had position. He was uh, playing the ball, and I don't think that that's a very good call right yeah, there. Yeah, I was watching the receiver. Yeah. If the defender had turned and was playing the ball, then, then it's an easy call that it's offensive pass interference. But they're going to say it's defensive pass interference. Automatic first down, 34-yard line of Turner's. Red Hawk first down. Yeah, you know, again, I, uh, not critical. Things happen quickly, and a lot of times we see something, and the guy down on the field sees it a little different. In this case, I, I just didn't see that. They're going to give it to Aaron Landry. Took it left, then cut back into the center of the field. He brings it down to the Turner's Falls 29-yard line. Gain of... Five, second down and five coming up. 3-10 to play third quarter. And uh, for all that scoring in the first half, we've had zero points here yeah. in the second half. We're talking about the kickers getting a workout and the scoreboard getting a workout, but this has settled down here a little bit here in the, in the second. Yeah, that first quarter was ridiculous. It's Landry, left side, first down and more. Inside the 10, inside the five. Did he get in? Touchdown. Touchdown, Frontier Red Hawk. Took it in from about uh, close to 25 yards there. 16 carries, four touchdowns, and 193 yards for Aaron Landry. Uh, hats off to that kid, honest. Uh, and I believe that gets him over a grand yeah, for the year. Yeah, back-to-back yeah. -back thousand yard rushing seasons. Uh, we saw uh, Trent Borbo do that here a few years back. He was the first kid to do it for Turner's Falls. I'm not sure if anybody has done that down at Frontier Run consecutive uh, years back-to-back. Consecutive to back. years, yeah, we'd have to look it up. I'm not sure. Seems They've had a lot runners. of great runners, but back-to-back, -back, I'm not sure. R.J. Bird of Greenfield is about to. He's got 900 something, uh, I think 955. He could get three years in a row if he stays and healthy. And right, he's a well junior. He got a, he got a thousand as a uh, sophomore more last year. They're going to kick for the first time tonight. Placement down. The kick is on the way and it's good. Conversion attempt is we good. will take a timeout. 2.48 to play on here. One. Third quarter Frontier. on the car quest of Greenfield, Frontier. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 33. Frontier. Turner's Falls 14. Frontier. Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth here at Turner's Falls High. Jacob Bryant kicked it right into the heart of the Turner's Falls coverage team. The guy just jumped on it. And that is... Uh, John Fritz, sophomore. A lot of sophomores on this team. Uh, but Sean, you were mentioning though the enrollment situation. Uh, seven boys in the freshman class here at Turner's Falls High. So and one of them playing football. Yeah, Jake Dodge. And that's Jake Dodge. And uh, it's Kyle's younger brother. So uh, be really interested to see what's coming up from Great Falls Middle School because you have to be able to field a football team. Dodge back to pass first down, heavy rush, Grand eludes it, takes off left. on the left side, and then and got wrapped up from behind as he was running for his life. Stephen Wordley is the man that got him. And a loss of a couple, second and long coming up. Dodge not really a running quarterback Losing at this point. A Just a second carry for him, and he's got two second yards, had three yards on his first carry, and lost one there. Yeah, I would hate to see uh, a situation, I'm not speaking necessarily about Turner's Falls, but any of our local schools where the, it ends up being like a co-op situation. Yeah, we've seen Mohawk get thin. You know, we've seen Greenfield get thin. We've yes. seen Franklin Tech get thin. Uh, Turner's Falls through the years at, at points as well. And yeah, hopefully... Uh Pitch goes to Marcus Sanders. He'll try the left side, spun out of bounds after a short gain out to the 36-yard line. So he got the yardage lost by Dodge and a couple more than that. It'll be third down and long though. We're down to 150 to play third quarter. Frontier firmly in control now at 33-14. But yeah, that will be key for this program or any program in this condition moving forward. Uh, again, to graduate 12 seniors is just, uh, to have 12 seniors on your roster, first of all. It's and extraordinary, then, uh, yeah. Yeah, to have all those guys uh, all leave at the same time and uh, again, to be as thin as they are in numbers, uh, what they're doing has been tremendous this year and uh, hopefully, uh, again, they've got great coaching and a uh, strong program. Out of the shotgun, third and seven. Quick pass left side, dropped ah. by Whiting as Jaden. We all we've seen this a million times. I'm really on all of us the football. He was heading downfield before he caught it. Yeah, he was my center fielder, JV baseball this year, my leadoff guy, and uh, I never saw him do that in center field. I'll tell you that. But he was trying to catch that football, turn and look upfield uh, before he caught it. And good athlete, though. Good kid. Lavin out to punt now. He will punt it to the right away from Landry. Pulls it down. Boom. It is blocked. Blocked by Frontier and downed by Turner's Falls. It's going to be a very short field for the Red Hawks. The kid who came blasting through, and he's had a big night. 
Garrett DeForest. We've called his name a bunch of times, and he just got in quick again. Came off the corner right to the foot of the ball where the ball was coming off, and he got there in plenty of time to block that thing. And again, well, you know, the, uh, Turner's Falls, they couldn't make too many mistakes tonight if they were going to hang in this game, and they really have not. That's really the first big mistake on offense, uh, the, the block punt there, and uh, the Red Hawks now... Uh, Prime to build on that lead just outside the 25 yard line. Call the 27 yard line, first down and 10, 109 to play in the third, 33 14 in favor of Frontier. Steven Wardley. And Wardley. he brings it down to the 20 yard line. That's a quick gain of about six or seven. Under a minute to play now here in the third. After the game, we'll have our post game show and then send it back to our studios. And we have a live broadcast coming up, not tomorrow, but on Sunday. They have the big public safety day just down the road. Turner's Falls Fire Department, Montague Police Department. Pitch goes to Aaron Landry, bounces to the outside, then back to the inside, still going. He's inside the 10 yard line. It's going to be first and goal down around the five. Yeah, the 20, let's see where they end up marking. I thought he was gonna take that one in, but tackle just yeah, inside the five from the 20. Give him another 16 on that one. They're knocking on the door again. Worthily, a couple of weekends ago, a couple of Friday nights ago against Maher, he scored well, five touchdowns. Five. He won player of the game. and He may get five again this week. He's got four. He's got two. Uh, well, this is La yards. Landry this time. Uh, Landry. Yeah, yeah. That was Worthily, yeah. A couple weeks ago. And the inside give towards the goal line did not get in. Got down to around the two. We'll see who gets up out of the bottom of that pile there. Yeah, they're heading into the, that was Aaron Landry, uh, yeah. the far side on the right. That looks like the end of the quarter, huh? End of three here right, at Turner's Falls High School. Carquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is Frontier 33, Turner's, Turner's Falls 14. Right. Fourth quarter right, action right. next on Bear Country. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. In Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont. Or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. It will be second down in goal for Frontier. The ball, call it, what are we looking at? The one, two yard line? Who refuses mixed nuts? Who? Nobody. I just did. I know, I don't I can't believe that. All right, Hildreth under center. And the pitch going left side. That's Aaron Landry leaning Landry. towards the goal. I did not get in. One yard inside the one. Mm. He almost did not quite get in. So a little bit of a reprieve for the Turner's Falls D here. But uh, the ball, the look at that, Sean. The ball is just outside the goal line. Yeah, I don't know how they keep him out. Landry's, yeah. uh, that was his 19th carry. Now he's over 200, well over 200, 212 uh, I, yards right now. I think you could go just uh, with Hildreth in the lean here at this point. The big guy right behind him, yep. Nope. And the fumble oh, on the boy. play. Oh, ball is loose. loose. Turner says they have it, and they do. Uh, well, Ooh. I'll tell you what, Jeff. <laughs> uh, again, that, that looked like it was uh, lights out right there. Just and, lean in with the quarterback. Uh, the first fumble of the game, and the, uh, the Red Hawks from the one turn it over, so... Again, a long ways to go, but let's see if Kyle Dodgers it out of his end zone. See if they can strike quick here. 10 21 to play, 33 14. So, yeah, that uh, score there, and forget about it. It's over. But a little bit of reprieve here for Turner's yeah, Falls. Just a little breath right there. The window just cracked slightly for Turner's Falls. Big, big play for them on defense. But they do trail by 19. So they do have a ways to go. Back to in the I formation behind Dodge. It is Sanders, and he gets popped as he tried the left side. No gain, second down and 10. Yeah, again, uh, 11 carries, 31 yards in the first half for Marcus. That was his fourth carry here in the second half. He's got, I'm waiting to see if they mark him forward. They don't right to the line of scrimmage, so no gain. 15 yards on four carries, so 40, 
six yards, on the carry. It'll be uh, 15 carries. Down. So, again, the Red Hawks doing a nice job bottling up Marcus. Turner's Falls now will have a lone back, Sanders, and two receivers to either side. Dodge is back to pass. Dodge Out of his end zone, throws away. right side. He was under heavy pressure. He had to avoid a sack and a safety. Try to get it to Campbell, but that fell incomplete. It'll be third down and long. Yeah, play didn't really have much of a chance there. That was Kyle Dodge's 14th pass attempt. He's completed seven, so 50% of his passing. Very good, 182 yards through the air and of course the uh, the two touchdowns early in this game in the first quarter he threw. Yeah, at one point he was three out of four yeah. and two touchdowns. Yeah. So it's diminished as he's gone along. The uh, Frontier really came with the heat that time. At one point, Turner's Falls had two touchdowns and no first downs. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, again, it was and just- front, Frontier had two touchdowns and yeah, no first and no downs. no first downs yeah. for a while. Yeah, so again, it was just big strikes and Turner's was going toe to toe there uh, in the first quarter. Yeah, but the, these kids were having fun early and we were having fun calling it. Back to pass Dodge out of the end zone, throwing deep on the right side, looking for Craver, incomplete. Twisted his body around, a la Julian Edelman, a flag on the play. Now, I didn't see anything there, I'll tell you. I, uh, I'm watching the kid run down the field. I see him lay out to try to catch the ball, and I don't even know that I saw any kind of a contact there. Yeah, it's going to go against Frontier. Well, that's, that's you know what that is, Jeff? That's the old makeup call right there, honestly. <laughs> you know, uh, again, I think the one down there uh, against Turner's Falls just uh, it didn't seem right, and this one here, uh, I didn't see anything at all, so. Uh, yeah, I just, the, the ball came in, it was thrown behind the receiver, he yeah. twisted back for it, the frontier defender was just kind of there. Yeah. He twisted, but it wasn't because of a motion that he got pulled or turned, I, I just felt he twisted to get back to the ball, and yeah. uh, maybe the referee saw that and just thought it was an odd uh, way for him to contort naturally, but I don't didn't see a lot of contact there, to be honest. So they bring it from the three out to the 18, automatic first down. And Dodgers back to pass on play action, airing it out over the middle. It's got Kramer. Caught got him. He's on. He's going to go. He is going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Turner's Falls. No flags. 81 yards. Uh, 82, 82 from the 18 yard line. 33 20, and we may not be done yet. Well, Kyle Dodge had 182 yards before he threw that ball, and that ball goes 82 yards into the end zone. 264? Wow. 264 <laughs> yards passing. Well, yeah, go back to the beginning of the year where it was one for six for 10 yards and one for <laughs> five for uh, 13 yards. And then last week, 188 yards this week. Sean, there's there's local quarterbacks that aren't going to throw for this many yards for an entire season. It's a huge game for Kyle Dodge. This isn't coming out for him as a quarterback. Now Lavin's going to try to get him to within 12. The kick is up. It is good. Timeout on the field. 9.20 to play in the football game. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard, it's Frontier 33, Turner's Falls 21. And we are back here in the Albert B. Allen Insurance broadcast booth. It's getting a little chilly in here, Mr. Brock Hines from Albert B. Allen Insurance as we are definitely turning the corner. We've got hot weather for most of this football season, but it's getting quite chilly. They will there go for the is, onside There it is, there it is, there it is. They got it, it's right on the line. That is a good <laughs> onside see, kick. Let's see, the, Turner's Falls did recover. It needs to go 10 right yards on and the they line. are going to get it. That yep. worked, wow. They topped it, they got around it. There was one red hot guy that got, could get to it. He got blocked away from the ball. It landed right on the 50 yard line. And that's where Turner's Falls covered it up. That was executed to perfection. It was funny, off the foot at first, I thought, yeah, there's no way it's going to go 10 yards, but then it did. And it just, as it continued to go, it just kept going. So you, uh, don't do that any better than they just executed that right there. Right at midfield, it'll be first down and 10. Go up top, right now. And they're gonna give it to Craver on a sweep on the left side. Makes a couple of nice juke moves, a gain of four down to the 46 yard line. Will be second down and six. Clock in motion, nine minutes to play. First carry of the game for Andy Craver. He has caught three balls for 169 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Give him five, give him, we'll call four yards on that carry. And much more of a pep in the step for these Turner's Falls kids. It looked like the game was about to become a blowout. I thought Frontier might have scored, gone up 
by a huge advantage. Instead, we got a ball game again, 12-point game. Play action, dodge, Roger rolling to the right. The Heavy rush, the dumps it off late. We've got thrown a catch, and yeah, that will be a catch. Nice lead. play there by Driscoll. About a yard shy of the first down. It'll be third down and less than one. Again, well-thrown ball, thrown a little bit low. Low, first catch of the game for Driscoll. Trying to see here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six different Turner's Falls receivers catching the nine completed passes, excuse me, the 10 completed passes by Kyle Dodge. 8.17 to play in the football game, third and short. They go to Driscoll in the middle, easily gets the first down, brings it down to the Frontier 36 yard line. They'll stop the clock at 8.01 to set the chain and then they'll keep it going again. Driscoll having a quiet game on offense. Just his third carry, 15 yards for him, but a big first down for Turner's. Well, that's the ball at the 36 now in the Red Hawks. Frontier had the ball at the one yard line, yeah. knocking on the door. Yeah, less than one, Boy, then yeah. those are the ball. And I, I still think a, a quarterback lean in would have gotten them the score. Flag. flag comes in just before the snap. That'll be the legal formation. And that's gonna be a false start against Turner's. False start, all right. False start against Turner's. So that will bring them back five yards. So from the 36 the back, back to the 41. Yards. First and 15 from there. 7.40 to play. Frontier by 12, 33 to 21. Turner's Falls jumped out quick and they kind of traded punches. Then it was Frontier, ball all Frontier the in the second quarter. And, and most of the third, and then uh, here in the fourth, though, Turner's Falls off the mat, and they're throwing haymakers right now. Keep throwing the ball. Dodge will send Campbell in motion. Pitch, Marcus Pitch Sanders on the left Sanders. side. Nothing doing, he's dropped back for a loss. I agree with you, Sean. Go, no go down, if you're gonna go down to defeat here, go down with what's been working. Just go up top, throw, throw on virtually every Stop down me. at yeah, this point. They're just not getting the Sanders out of the backfield. Again, 11 so, carries in the first half, five here in the second, so 16 carries in total and 55 yards for Marcus, so yeah. Sanders will come off now. He's been replaced by Torres, so it's Torres and Driscoll out there. And two receivers to the far side left, out of the eye. Play Dodge, action. Dodge, Dodge back to pass. Steps pass up. Away. Throws on the right side. Oh, throw. Got it to Whiting. No, fell incomplete. That would have been good for a first down at the 24 yard line of Frontier. Exactly. Now, Dodge though, it is third down and long. Good throw by Dodge again. A bullet right to his receiver. There were two, three Red Hawks there. The ball hit the receiver right in the hands and well thrown ball. Yeah, third down now. Well, again, uh, you're in four down territory, no doubt, here for Turner. So. Uh, you get a big chunk here and get yourself a manageable uh, fourth down. Driscoll out, Torres in. 6.40 to play in the football game. Turner's Falls looking to make it a one score game late. Lone back is Torres, double wide outs on either side. He's back to pass, Dodge setting up, Dodge throwing a deep ball on the right way. side, looking for Kramer oh, again, that's flag. gonna be a defensive <laughs> pass no interference. That, that, that was an easy <laughs> call, <laughs> as the Frontier defender uh, just pulled him down by the shoulder uh, pads. And that could actually be a horse collar as well, because that is exactly what happened. The guy got behind Craver, and then he realized he was burnt, so he just reached back, grabbed him by the neck, and hauled him backwards before the ball got there. And, uh, an obvious penalty there against the Red Hawks. Keep throwing the ball, Turners, why well, not? I'll tell you what, John, it would have been fourth and 15. Now you've got a first down, the ball getting close to the red zone. Okay. Time really okay. not that much of a factor yet. Not Six, yet. 6.33 to play. All their timeouts. You score here in, uh, boy, I'll tell you, if the well, momentum you can carry over to your defensive side one more time, they'll have a shot to win this thing at the end. And, that's where they're positioned right now, but first things first, first and 10. They're going to go shotgun formation here, double wide outs to either side. Dodge takes the snap, Dodge he's back to pass, shotgun. looking to the right, That's throwing the right towards the end zone, looking for Craver. Dove, it got tipped, Dove fell incomplete. incomplete. It'll be Craver. second down and 10. And nice job by Dodge standing in on that. He knew he was gonna get whacked as soon as he released the ball. He hung in there and made a really nice throw. And then he did get whacked. Boy, this Turner's Falls defense so different than that game against Athol. Three 100-yard rushers that night, an, an easy victory. They put up 34 points, no rushing attack at all. We hardly said much about Dodge that night against Athol, and now it's all about Dodge. Uh, I think he completed one pass in that game. I think that was the one of six for 13 yards. And 
Right, it was just a non-passing game at that point. This is the opposite. Second down and 10, 26 yard line. Dodge will give up the middle to Driscoll. He'll take it to the left side, inside the 25 yard line, down to the 21, it'll be third down and about six or seven here. I like the play call there. Again, you've got them back on their heels just a little bit. Stop was made by Dolan. Throwing a couple of passes here and then you give it to the big guy right through the middle, so good San game there. Sanders been out for three consecutive plays now. He's just watching from the sidelines to see when or if they get him back in there. Dodge on play action, rolling to the right, sets right. it up, throws, intermediate pattern, it is caught. That's gonna be Driscoll and he got the first down. They will move the sticks, 5.48 to play, and now they're in the red zone. That's the second catch for Driscoll. 277 yards through the air for Dodge. Frontier has not lost since that overtime defeat at Greenfield. Now they come to play the Green Wave's main rival, and they're having a tough time here as well. In motion is Campbell, the give, Torres, right Torres. side, brings it to the 15-yard line, down to the 10-yard line, a gain of a couple. Second down, oh, more than that, yeah. more uh, than six happen. yards, second down in six, 522 to play, again, the clock, it's uh, only a 12-point game at this point. I like the tempo, they're moving it right along, they're not in any, not too much of a hurry. Not, but yeah, you're gonna be a little quick, but not, you don't have to, you don't have to be in, in panic mode at this point. Campbell in motion again, back to pass is Dodge. Looking over the middle and he gets away from the sack but now he will go down. And that's gonna be a loss and now Turner's will have to burn a timeout with 4.58 to play. Long time to play. And it's going to be third down and long. Second sack of Dodge on the evening and again the pocket just collapsed around him. He actually got away from the first tackle but not enough time to try to look up field. I could see him look left and I saw Wyden coming across and then he just didn't have time to look for his second or, th or third receiver on that. He got buried. So it'll be third down and 10, and the ball back out uh, closer to that 15-yard line now. And just inside the 15, 4.58 to play. And Dodge is still talking to Chris LaPointe. He's got to get, the timeout's long over now. He's got to get in there. Third and 10. Get the play calling, get this ball snapped. Third down and 10. Four, uh, 13 yard line of Frontier. Red Hawks lead by 12, 33-21. Very entertaining ball game here tonight. I'm a draw, let's see a draw here. Back to pass, no, it's a sweep. Down to the 10 yard line, it'll be fourth down and five. A sweep to Craver, tackled by Wordley. Line. And also helping out on that tackle is Hildreth. Clock still going, 4.42 to play. Now play the game right here, fellas. They battled hard, they've made this fun. The first quarter was exciting. This could have an exciting finish here if Turner's Falls can at least get the first down here. Backs are split behind Dodge on fourth down and five from the 10. He's back to pass on the left side, throws against the grain, incomplete, down inside the five yard line, no flag. Frontier will take over on downs, and with 4.21 to play and a 12-point lead, they again are back in good shape. Yeah, that right there was, uh, again, uh, again, the plucky Turner's Falls team. Uh, you, Frontier's knocking on the door, they're at the one. You get the turnover, then you get the score, and then you get the ball back, and they just couldn't punch that one in, and uh, yeah, that would have been key right there. So, down two scores, the Red Hawks have the ball. Obviously, you've got to get a three, and now you've got to stop them quick or get a quick turnover. And you know Frontier will run the ball as they always do, primarily an offensive uh, attack based on the ground. Look how tight that formation is. And taking it on the left side, Landry. I think that okay. was Landry. Yeah, it was Aaron, and he gets a first down out across the 20-yard line. So that will stop the clock just briefly as they set the chain, and then they'll start that clock again. We'll see when Chris starts using the rest of his timeouts. Used one so far, has four. Yeah, after, if there's one more first down, then he'll have no choice but to burn his TOs at that point, because now we're under four minutes. 222 yards for Landry. And they go to an eye formation, and I think that's Bryce Dobis that went back out there again. Might have been Dobis, short gain Let's over the right side. see who came up out of the, uh, nope. Yeah, it looks like it was, is that Aaron again? 
Tonight. Here was Aaron Landry, number 28. Yeah, they carried for a couple. A couple oh, more. No, they, okay. And a timeout was called by Turner's with 3.46 to play. Now that makes sense. Now it's second yep. and long, so now uh, you've got to, you're kind of all in now. You know, it's second and long. You've got to not give up this first down, stop the clock again after this play, hold them on third. And, and uh, again, looking at it, if you're from the frontier perspective, uh, you simply want to keep doing what you're doing. You've been getting your rushes in chunks of five, six, seven, eight yards. If you continue to do that, you will continue to get first downs and you will get the victory. Yeah, again, just a couple of good runs here, a first down, and uh, it's going to kill enough of the timeouts the Turner's has. See the trainer talking to uh, Marcus Sanders on the Turner's fall sideline, so apparently he's dealing, dealing with some sort of injury situation. Again, he was off the field on that last series. Tackle there. Big hit on the right side, and Turner's Falls will burn another timeout. We will take a quick 30-second timeout here. 3.40 timeout to play. Two. Frontier leads by 12. Back after this. After the game, our post-game show will feature our player of the game. Great case, of course, by Aaron Landry of Frontier. We haven't talked about him a lot here in the fourth because Turner's Falls has made this furious comeback, but he has had... One heck of a night. It's third down, though, at about seven for the Hawks. The ball uh, just outside their 20-yard line. They need to get to about the 31 to keep the chains going. I'm here. looking at Marcus Sanders, as you just mentioned, just took a piece of gauze and shoved it in his mouth, so he might have taken a shot and split a lip or something. And we have a flag, and that's going to go on the Red Hawks. Wow. Five-yard penalty. As uh, illegal motion, so that's going to bring it back inside the 20. Third down and long now. I Turner Stalls is going to get this ball back with some time left. They have wrangled themselves into a situation that they're just still hanging around right now. Again, the Frontier had scored on that from the one yard line. It would have been ball game. They get the turnover, they get the score. Yeah, they have to stop them here though. Frontier obviously won't go for it on fourth down, but you have to stop them here. Fumble on the play, now oh, ending no. up with it. Play action, it is Hildreth, heavy rush, gets away, still going. Takes off on the right side, turns the corner. A lot of running for a gain of just a couple of yards. It'll be fourth down and long. Hildreth just ran from the middle of the field all the way out here to this side, and then turning went all the way back almost to the other side, and they get a timeout on the field. We will take the break. It'll be fourth down frontier when we come back. 33-21 Redhawks on the car quest of Greenfield. South Deerfield at Shelburne scoreboard. Worthley to boot it. Campbell and Craver at the 40. Blocked. Wait, let me set the scene. You got it. Ah, fumbled and blocked. We are back here and Stephen Wordley punting and he has been blocked by Turner's Falls and they're going to have it first down and 10 just outside the 10 yard line of Frontier with 314 to play. Frontier leading by 12. Well, that's a familiar number out there making a big play for Turner's Falls. Jack Patala, number 57. Huge play there for Turner's Falls and they remain alive in this game. Unbelievable. 13 yard line, first down and 10. Dodge under center. He's back to pass, looking towards the left. Throwing down near the goal line, intercepted by Frontier. And that literally is the first mistake of the night by Dodge, and they turn it over, and the Red Hawks get it right back. Dodge never saw, I didn't see who made the uh, interception, but the linebacker tucked underneath, and Dodge just never saw him. And uh, yeah, again, that's it. That, it, on film, that's a mistake, but again, it was a good throw. It was to his receiver. He just had a linebacker kind of set down in there and jumped it. And uh, a good play there by the Red Hawks on a key play. Uh, again, they dodge bullets here. They have it on their own 14-yard line, first down and 10, with 3.05 remaining in the football game. It's 33-21 in favor of Frontier, but they've had a tough time here in the fourth quarter. They were cruising for a while. Second quarter, third, they were cruising. Now, timeout taken on the field. That's got to be taken by the Red Hawks, I'm guessing. We will take the break as well. 3.05 to play. Car Quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Frontier 33, Turner's Falls 21. And Frontier is able to run the ball. And, well, they said Landry, but that was actually Stephen Worthley. 
And he brings it for a gain of about two yards. It'll be second down and eight. 240 to play. And Frontier's able to really kill a lot of clock now between plays. So they'll get the victory here. And inside carry, that's going to go for close to first down yardage outside the 20 yard line. Chris will use his last time out here. And that was Aaron Landry that time. And LaPointe takes the timeout. We'll take the break. 2.27 to play. Football game. Car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Frontier 33. Turner's Falls 21. And from the 22-yard line, it is Stephen Worthley on the right side. He has the first down for Frontier on uh, second down and short. And that is huge for the Hawks. Uh, Worthley quietly over 100, 116 yards for him. 5, 10, 15, 17 carries for that young man. 22 carries for Landry. He sits about 230 yards on the game. So 230, 330, 346 between those two fellas. First and Another night at the office for them. Pretty much. And the inside give, and Landry. going to the outside, it's Landry. He has the first down, Landry. still going into Turner's Falls territory, lowers the shoulder, brings it down to the Indian 40-yard line. Knocked out of bounds with 146 to play. Not until he gets into Turner's territory. I say 230, I meant 260. <laughs> <laughs> Tack another 30 on for Aaron. Boy, this kid's fun to watch, he really is. We enjoyed him last year, and boy, he just got better again this season. He's quick, he's strong. These guys block so well, and Again, that's a, just a big chunk right there for Landry. 23 carries, 260 yards, four touchdowns. Madden numbers. Ball's on the Turner's Falls 41 yard line. First down and 10. Quarterback Hildreth under center. Landry comes in motion. They fake it to him. Land Hildreth, Hildreth will take it himself. Away. Gets away from Turner's Falls containment on the right side. Makes a nice gain, still going. And he's got it first down, down to the 20-yard line. A gain of 21 yards with 1.10 to play. And it looks like they wanted to get in the end zone one more time here. They're at a point now where they can take a few knees and well, get the victory, remember, but they, they, don't, they don't do that, was though. Was it the Mahar game? It was the Mahar Mike, game, They yeah. had a pretty sizable lead. I mean, they ended up winning that one. Uh, what was the final on that guy? 56-34. 56 56-34, yeah. Uh, and that last touchdown I, I felt might have been a little unnecessary, and it was the same situation where they could have taken a knee and just run out the clock, and maybe that's what they're going to do here. 21-yard line. Uh, yeah, they have gone into victory formation. Hildreth takes a knee. That, you like to see that because they were driving again. Well, I mean, that's you're respect. Get, you're going to get the victory. And, yeah. yeah, you don't want to score that touchdown. And as you, you know, Sean, it. they're on the same league. It's, some things turn around. You, uh, you wait a couple of years, and then you're on the short end. And, uh, and if somebody wants to paste you back, it's just a bad thing to start going back and forth with so uh, good call there the Red Hawks have it uh, no need for one more points and uh, one more knee and I think that should be just about it what yep. a great effort by by Turner's Falls tonight though really 26 seconds left Hildreth takes the knee and they do not have to hike the ball one more time that'll do it final score here at Turner's Falls High School on the car quest of Greenfield South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard Frontier 33 Turner's Falls 21 the post game show coming up next on Bear Country 95.3 Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. Frontier 33, Turner's Falls 21. I'm not sure what they charge admission for these uh, football games, Sean, but uh, people could have paid double and still felt like uh, <laughs> they got their money's worth. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, this Turner's Falls team gave Frontier a battle. Frontier, the better team tonight. They end up winning it by 12, but man, with a few minutes left in the game, it was still in doubt. A lot of folks I talked to today about the game tonight, and uh, 
you know, not a lot of folks were real positive about how this outcome was going to be. Eh? And you've seen Frontier and what they've done over the last few weeks. They're just scoring points over Fist at 41, 56, 35 in their last three games. That's a lot of points. They put up a lot of yards, and you knew that wasn't going to stop tonight. So then it was just a matter of could Turner's match up offensively this year. They're not a high-scoring team. Uh, and again, Marcus Sanders really did not have a very good night at all. Uh, looks like he might have had an injury because he didn't really play a whole lot there in the fourth quarter. Right. Uh, but uh, it was the Kyle Dodge show, and he really, I mean, it was just so fun to watch. They, they swapped uh, haymakers in the first quarter, 14-12 <laughs> game, and Again, uh, yeah, Frontier asserted themselves as what they do best, running the ball. Uh, Hildreth, again, only threw the ball twice, completed one. We knew that probably was going to be about it. Uh, but they just ran the ball like they did, controlled the second quarter, the third quarter as well. Turners did just enough to hang around, and then all of a sudden, again, the turnover, the touchdown, and they were in position to score again, which would have cut it to less than a score, and uh, who knows at that point. But and they had opportunities. They, they manufactured their own opportunities. They stayed in this game, and they worked hard to not get blown out. And in the end, they really had a couple of plays away from uh, making this one a real nail biter. So uh, again, credit those kids in, in blue and white. We won't numb the listeners' brains with too many stats, but I will say some big numbers for a Turner's Falls passer and a Frontier runner. Uh, those two numbers there are really just outstanding in any high school football game. Well, any football game, I suppose. But Kyle Dodge, you know, again, we talked about he's one for six for 13 yards, one for five for 10 yards. Those were his first couple games of the season. Last week, the kid throws six for 17, 188, and a pair of touchdowns against Mahar. His best game of the season? <laughs> Not even close. Look at this. <laughs> 11, 11 passes out of his 20 attempts. 277 yards wow. through the air, Three through touchdowns. the touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, wow. Again, he Phenomenal. took a couple of sacks, but nothing, no bad sacks. He threw the interception at the end. Uh, that was just a good defensive play. Kid sat down and uh, just kind of cut the route. And uh, Again, uh, Kyle Dodge, uh, fantastic game. Uh, I would say this now, right now, uh, two weeks ago they were a running attack. We saw three guys run for over 100 yards, Driscoll, Torres, and Sanders. Tonight was a passing attack, so very versatile, and they hung in for a long time. It really was a good game. On the other side, Frontier, of course, the winning team. They put up 33, and Landry and Worthley did what Landry and Worthley do. That's just what they do. Yeah, again, Worthley uh, quietly over 100 yards, 116, had the touchdown, and uh, 17 carries, and most guys, that's a pretty good game. And then uh, you get Aaron Landry standing next to you with 23 carries, and uh, what do you have, 260 yards-ish. Yep. And uh, four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Needed 190 wow. for his 1,000 coming in. And, again, uh, did that last year. He did it again this year. Uh, so they'll hang a banner with his name on it twice. And that's uh, quite a feat for that young man. And uh, he's fun to watch. They're so fast. Again, they block well. Uh, they run the ball well. You know, they're not really known for defense. The defense not there this year. You know, usually that's a they can be a shutdown defense and, and just stop people cold. Yeah, they had trouble with uh, they had trouble with the Greenfield quarterback that night and yeah. also with R.J. Bird, and they had trouble tonight stopping Turner's Falls at various times. Yeah, again, well, they gave up 36 points to Pittsfield in a win, 40-36, to 36, and they gave up 34 points to Mahar. You know, fortunately for them, they scored 56. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, when you look at the numbers, some of them are, just don't make sense. But uh, a good Frontier Red Hawk team, uh, they keep their hopes alive for postseason. And the Indians actually had to win this game. Yeah, uh, yeah. This will officially uh, take them out of contention for postseason. Uh, but again, uh, just take a moment, uh, reflect on what this program has done over the last six, seven years under Chris LaPointe. Uh, the big streak against Greenfield, nobody ever thought would ever happen. Uh, league titles, championship games, 1,000-yard uh, rushers, 2,000-yard rushers, 1,000-yard passers. Uh, Malcolm Smith, Ryan Wilder, Brody Markle, Johnny O'Leary, T.J. Meyer. I mean, we can go up and down the list of kids that have come through here in the last six years. Uh, and the success that they've had has been tremendous. And I'll tell you what, the success they're having right now in the situation that they're in is tremendous. Not a winning record but a great effort by a bunch of kids that have really never played a lot of varsity football. With the win, Frontier goes to 5-1 and one on the year, and they are squarely in the driver's seat for a Western Mass tournament berth, obviously. Uh, they haven't locked up anything. No one has yet, but they're in really good position right now. Uh, they're now 3-1 and one in the Inter-County League. Front, uh, Turner's Falls rather falls to 2-4 and four overall, 1-up and 3-down in league play. Final score for the final time on the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. Frontier 33, Turner's Falls 21. For Sean Hubert and our studio producer Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great night in Bear Country. <laughs>